Thanks for watching PHL 17, The CW. We are Philadelphia. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with meteorologist Brittany Boyer and Walter Perez. Some thunderstorms moved their way through the Delaware Valley this evening, delivering heavy rain and ponding on some roads. As more stormy weather remains a possibility tomorrow afternoon. It is Saturday night. I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is the chance of a few more storms tomorrow. The uncomfortable humidity sticks around as well. We're taking a live look outside at our Sky 6 camera from Philadelphia International Airport, where the bumpy weather resulted in a number of ground stops a day, and that translated into more than 370 delays and 104 cancellations. Meteorologist Peyton Domsky in for Brittany joins us live with our first check of the AccuWeather forecast. Peyton. Hey, Walter. Philadelphia International actually a 54 mile per hour wind gust as those storms moved on through. What I can tell you at this hour is nothing is deemed severe anymore, but we had dozens of severe thunderstorm warnings. So let's take a look together at some of the latest reports. I mentioned Philadelphia International's wind gust above 50 miles per hour, but even Cape May Point recording almost a 60 mile per hour gust. The Atlantic City Marina about a 40 mile per hour gust, and that did result in a lot of tree related damage. Trees down, wires down trees on wires all the way up through Berks County as well. The area where that severe thunderstorm warning just recently expired was around the Pemberton area, Tom's River, as well as all the way down to about Surf City, so the LBI area as well. The most moderate rainfall continues there, but for the most part, all of this is just plain old stratiform rain. Everything that was severe really made its way over the last couple of hours through interior South Jersey, even stretching back near Delaware as well, and that last lasted for about 100 miles and there were wind gusts above that 60 per 60 mile per hour threshold as well. Tonight's low temperature is going to fall back into the either the upper 60s or the low to mid 70s, but those downpours and thunderstorms are exiting